Currently we're out in the Taylor Farms Romaine Fields and what you're seeing here is the only patented automated harvester for Romaine. So here you can see after it's come up the conveyor belt how it's being dropped into the unit where it's being hand sorted and the lower belt goes to the back of the machine and ends up trashed back in the field where the nutrients will be tilled back into the soil and all of the good product that will go in the Marcon first crop box goes on the upper conveyor belt where it's going to be put into toast. Here's one of the heads that's been cut by the water pressure coming down the line. You can see this is the premium product. Turn it on its side if you will. You can see the angle of the cut. It's obviously still right above the ground, but it doesn't damage any of the product that's coming up to be processed. So we're back from Salinas, California to Denver, Colorado, where you're down in the Shamrock Warehouse. And here we have the romaine lettuce that was recently harvested out of the field. And as you can see, it's not washed, it's not processed. This is how it's going to come to your back door. Now there's 24 heads to a case, and as you can see on the box, we've got our full trace back code, as well as our five-star food safety program. The new boxes are going to have a little icon on them to determine where in your cooler they should be kept to ensure that you get the full shelf life out of each of these items. Here we are in sunny Salinas, California. We're out on the Dole Celery Fields where you can see them harvesting. And here we have the cutters and they cut them at about approximately 24 inches. They lay them out on the ground where you see behind we have the tractor. Over here we have the packers and they're doing both the plastic sleeves for retail as well as just the field pack for food service. So the one thing to note when coming out to the fields here in Salinas is how much product actually goes back into the soil. You can see over here we've got the unharvested celery still standing at about 30 inches tall and right next to it is the area where they've already come through and processed the product. Anything that's cut off the top, the bottom, or even the outside that's pulled off to get to the heart is all thrown back into the soil where it's recultivated for the nutrients to make the soil enriched and ensure that next year's crop, whether it's celery or they switch it out, will have all the nutrients needed to make it the best crop possible. Here you can see them doing the retail packs of cut celery hearts. As it runs down the conveyor belt, they cut it, they bag it, and down below here you'll see all of the waste. All of this waste gets re-tilled into the soil and it adds nutrients which help next year's crop. So we're back here in Shamrock, Denver, and we're down in the warehouse taking a look at the celery we recently saw harvested out in the fields. And as you can see here, we have the 40-pound case. Uh, it's got the full trace back coat on it, as do all of our other Marcon products. It is in our Marcon first crop label, which ensures you that you're getting the highest quality that's out there with the, also the, the specs that Marcon requires. And what we have here is uh, obviously just the field pack celery that we saw. It's not going to retail. It's not individually packed. You still have all of the celery hearts down here in the center. And uh, it still has a great crispy product. So we've taken you out to Salinas, California, where you've been in the field to see the product harvested. And we followed that product back here to Denver, Colorado, where you're now seeing it in our warehouse. The whole idea behind this video is that you get the true field-to-fork mentality of how the product comes to your back door. With that being said, please get with your sales rep. Uh, we have an updated produce catalog, and we can get that in your hands so that you can see our full line of items that are offered through Shamrock Foods.